Sub guys and gals, me Mudahar, actually me Matt McMahon, and me here today to present to you some stuff that I got from Timu, stuff that I got from AliExpress, believe it or not, and stuff that I got from a limited run, those greedy bastards, and all sorts of other stuff. So let's get started. This will probably be called Thingamabobs, because that's the idea that's been floating around in my head for a while when it comes to names. First up is a keyboard which was a social experiment, as in I spend a lot of money and then I socially experiment your ass by seeing if you like it. It's a freaking a keyboard. It's a keyboard that has not only does it have a custom keycaps, it has a custom little uh, little uh, cord right here with the with the thing that unplugs. Believe it or not, we also have custom keys. Yeah, they're Sakura keys, all from Timu, except for the keycaps. They are from AliExpress, and also I got some rubber rings for several keyboards, although two are the only ones I'm showing for now, two keyboards. Uh, spoilers, I know. Hi guys, you may have noticed that the noise gate is off. I'm actually using an AI based noise gate for the first time ever. I actually looked it up on the OBS website and found it, which is pretty cool. So yeah, let's hear what the actual keyboard sounds like, the one that I showed in the last segment, because uh, you couldn't hear it with said AI noise gate. So let's hear it. That's pretty nice. And uh, while we're here, let's play a little bit of a spoiler for you. This keyboard has uh, new switches. They're uh, optical switches. The previous ones were optical browns. These ones are now optical silvers, both by Gatoron. I also used the O-rings to silence them a little bit. And by the way, I tried selling this keyboard, but I forgot that uh, it's missing one of its uh, stabilizers, which definitely means you can't sell it. And also it's missing its 2.4 gigahertz uh, radio receiver, so you can't do that either. So no wonder they didn't take it. Without further ado, let's uh, hear what it sounds like. This one's the one that's missing the stabilizer. Actually, no, scratch that. It's this one, shift button. There you go. You might have never actually seen this. I don't think I've ever shown this on video, but I bought it back in 2021. They don't sell anymore. In fact, the drivers for the actual product are no longer on their website. RGB with uh, arrows. And you can uh, turn it off if you press uh, this. Look, now it's off. Now you can use it like a regular keyboard. So pretty, pretty nice. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of my catchphrase nowadays. It's a pretty nice keyboard. It's actually only white uh, light as opposed to uh, RGB light. It sort of produces a um, pinkish light. Doesn't exactly match the black and yellow, black and yellow. I hate that song. I don't even know why the hell I sang it. But anyway, the point is I would have preferred maybe the bubblegum pink and blue or cotton candy, if you will. That, that, was, that was also an option. But eh, live and learn. You know, it's not a big deal. And I probably would have gone with a white cord as well. Eh, who cares? I also have this comb. In fact, believe it or not, I have 12 other combs that I got from Timu, which is crazy. It was like two bucks. It was the cheapest set of combs I could find on Timu. I will pause and I will give you a fashion show with all the new hats that I've gotten. I love hats. This damn right here is the first hat. And believe it or not, it's Kirby. Pink? No. Green, because green's my favorite color. Yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a green hat of Kirby, and the top is sewed. It took my mom forever to do it, but eh, it's no big deal. She's helping me out anyway, because I don't know how to sew. Because uh, the top uh, came off, because Emmett is a little shit, and would continue to chew on it. Because I love him, but he's such a little stinker, stinky poo poo. Anyway, it's a green hat. It's it's pretty nice. It's made out of just acrylic, you know, so it's not the most durable, but I love it. This is one you might have seen in one of my previous videos, but I've never really explained where it came from. It came from Five Below, and it's an Inuyasha hat, and it's one that uh, I really like, although I recently found it again, so I guess I hadn't been wearing it for a while. And uh, it's uh, nice. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say the phrase that I just said earlier, because I'm trying not to be redundant. You may be thinking, Matt, you've already shown this hat before in fact you wear it every single video but believe it or not this is a replacement hat because Emmett chewed up my previous one and uh, I got it for uh, pretty cheap on the behemoth store again and it's brand spanking new basically well not really I've had it for a few months now I've had it for about two months it's made out of polyester so it can wash pretty easily he's definitely tried to chew it he slobbered all over it and I've cleaned it through the wash and it's been just as new when it came out 
finally on the Hat Express, we have Rugrats with these little uh, 90s sort of flares right here. It's black. My mom thinks it's the best looking one on my head, which I kind of agree with her. It's pretty nice, you know, but it didn't ask. Damn it! Didn't mean to say it that time. It was probably the, one of the more expensive hats besides obviously the behemoth hat that costs like 20 bucks because official merch isn't cheap. Knockoffs are pretty cheap. Uh, except for the Inuyasha one is official, although it was, like I said, Five Below because it was from Five Below. I teased a limited run game and I'm going to show you a damn limited run game. Here it is. Plumbers don't wear ties. Yes, that god awful game from the uh, 3DO, but uh, I love it because it's hilarious. And in the actual like game, Limit Run's like, there may be some problematic elements, but we're trying to like, fuck off. You do not need to include that. I mean, it's pretty obvious that's gonna be dated, but oh no, they make immature gay jokes and they have a guy basically say, get on the couch and uh, let me fuck you so I can get this job. The exact phrase is, take your damn clothes off. But it's funny. God, people don't have a sense of humor nowadays. Everything's offensive, unless you're like a normie, which in that case, you're probably not on Twitter. You don't even really give a shit. In the uh, plumbers don't wear ties section, I kind of made a Malaprop, the guy in the video game who does not offer Jane a job, he instead says, take your clothes off, right? But in the actual section of the video that I recorded previously, I mentioned that, uh, he said something akin to, uh, why don't you go over on that couch over there so I can get this job? But I meant to say is, why don't you go over on that couch over there so you can get this job? Referring to Jane. Because, you know, it'd be weird if he had sex with her just to get a job that he already has. Aren't live edits fun? Let's check it out. Let's see the inside of the case. And it's got a Pew, 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 manual squad hype moment. Yes, Limited Run actually got off their lazy asses and put a manual into a game. I know the last Limited Run I showed in my previous video did not have a manual. What the fuck, Limited Run? Although no card. Isn't that crazy? I bought this. This is an official numbered release and yet it has no card. God, they're cheaping out. Well, I'll tell you what. They'd ship this out within two months of me ordering it. Actually, three months, but the pre-order window ended like two months ago, pretty much. It ended on October 29th and shipped January 9th. Limited Run actually got their shit together, so maybe I shouldn't call them greedy bastards. Probably still will. Who knows? I actually beat the game and got all the endings. It's pretty easy to do that in a whole sitting, but I'm really looking forward to all those little behind-the-scenes and video stuff. It's going to be freaking sweet. Although, sadly, you can't turn off the sensors at the beginning of the game. It's on console, and they're not going to let you see nipples or butt cheeks or anything like that. Unfortunate, I know. Hey, what's up? It's darker out. I actually just got back from uh, helping my brother out take care of a little pupper whoppers at uh, some person on vacation's house. I won't say who because obviously I don't want to dox them or myself. But I've said that a lot in the past because doxing is bad. Hey, you want to see a keyboard tool? Look at this. It pulls both keycaps and keys themselves, mechanical keys. I tried it out recently, it works just fine. Uh, I got that in my most recent Timu order because one came today in between the last session and now. And speaking of stuff that's for keyboards, here's a keycap puller, here's a keycap puller, here's a keycap puller, here's a keycap puller, and here's a keycap puller. Look how many keycap pullers I have, isn't that insane? You wanna see a key puller? Got a key puller right here too. I'm just overflowing with the stuff with all the orders I've been making like Jesus Christ man I also got this uh, keyboard brush which is basically useless and this keyboard brush which is basically useless I also got a great isn't it a great great you know my great uncle uh, and my great aunt was doing the nightshade bit isn't that funny yeah it's a great for my computer case one that protects my fan from dust I also have a beard brush let me get all these Chinese cooties on me and get all the crap out of my uh, beard. See, it works just fine. It's also meant for your car. Uh, I'm not gonna do it both my car and my face. That'd be gross. Now keep in mind some of the stuff I got in my most recent team order I cannot show because uh, two of them are these little uh, crevices that I put in between in between my car seat so I can catch things. Also gave uh, name tags to my two little puppers, Phoebe and Emmett. Uh, not Bella though, cause she's never leaving the house. That'd just be a waste of money. And plus she's old. Really, I'm, I'm thinking the, about those two cause they're young. It's an investment, if you will. So anyway, let's get to the stuff that I actually did buy in the most recent order. One of those things being this, uh, this little felt strips that I'm going to be using to organize cables, although I'm not going to do it at the moment because it's getting late and also because I'm lazy as always. Lazy Matt. There's two of them. I got two. Now, funny enough, the gray that showed up uh, in person is way different than the gray that was on the actual uh, listing itself. Hey, y'all ready for pins? 
This is not from the most recent team order, but it's uh, it's a Gengar with his little tongue out. Let me see if I can show that up close. Yeah, it looks good enough to me. Next up is a Blockbuster. I grew up with a Blockbuster, you know, being 26 now. Yuck. But yeah, I actually grew up during the, I would say, the uh, dying year slash sort of peak at the beginning, maybe. Yeah, I mean, really, Blockbuster was king in the 90s. By the time I got around to it, they were like, kind of a shell of their former selves. I got to experience it, so you'll never take that away from me. And I can pretend to be a Blockbuster employee if I wanted to be. Maybe I'll do that for next Halloween. Who knows? By the way, speaking of that, in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I would read uh, Uzumaki. I didn't. I chickened out. That's how it goes. Next up, we got another Pokemon. We have uh, an unknown. Let me see if I can show it. Uh... In it's full form. See, it's the letter F. Let me get a close-up of it, just so you can see it. Right there, that's pretty clear. And finally, this is a recent one. This is a uh, something to do with Cyberpunk. I'm a casual-ass fan. I really just like uh, the aesthetic. I mean, I think the game itself is not very good. But who knows? I never played it. So, uh, as my parents say, how do you know if you haven't played it? Slash watched it. Well, I do know. So shut up. It's a freaking Cyberpunk little uh, demon thing. I just think it looks cool. Call me a fake fan. Looky here, we have a whole container of mechanical switches. It's so full, when I shake it, it doesn't make any noise. This little one does shake, though, and this has optical switches in it. So that sounds like... Look at this! Isn't it squishy and nice? It's, uh, it's a freaking fidget toy. It's shaped like, uh, shaped like something. I'm sure uh, someone in the comments, if they so choose, which they probably won't, can tell me what kind of shape this is. It reminds me of one of those uh, like things you see in Africa, the things that tribal women put around their necks or around their arms or whatnot. Call me racist. Don't care. Not really racist. It's something that actually exists in Africa, at least at some point in time, if not currently. So uh, suck it. This is the uh, last fidget toy in the video, which I know it's only two, so why does it matter? They're a uh, little uh, freaking... Uh, magnetic rods if you will and uh they can go like this and you can like twist them around or you can go like this sort of roll them together not much to say about that there's metal rods you can spin they're magnetic finally for this recording session we have a mario sort of a uh, game holder that uh exists alongside the animal crossing one that i put on my shelf holds games just like the last one you may notice there's noise again because i really want you to hear these things for yourself it's the freaking skew again it's a gan skew yes i got more gan products gan is one of my favorite speed cubing products and if i guess the really the only speed cubing product I've had maybe except for like Diane stuff back in the day that's sort of outdated shows how old I am <laughs> I was in middle school so I'm not really that old <laughs> Yeah, um, it's the Gan Skew, uh, it's, it's no metal in it whatsoever. It's purely a plastic ordeal. Um, maybe it has springs in it, I don't know, but I don't think it does. I think it's purely plastic. It turns pretty fast, in my opinion, and pretty well. Although I took it apart one time and it was a nightmare getting back together, but I managed it because uh, my engineering skills when it comes to that have come a long way. Fucking dropped it immediately. Next up is a GAN 2x2. Two two. Yeah, it's another 2x2. Two two. And this one... Pretty freaking the face, Brazil. It's probably, not probably, it is the fastest 2x2 two two I've ever owned. I believe I also owned a Diane 2x2 two two back in the day, alongside a Diane 3x3, or maybe it was like MoU or something. It, it, was, it was something where it's nowhere near as nice as this thing. This thing is freaking solid as hell and this one i believe is also uh no it has a little bit of metal in it it has like a metal spring but it's it, it's uh it's screwless which i think the only one that does have a screw is the next one i'm about to show you cubing has certainly come a long way since the last time i've really given any serious thought so that's great and last is a mirror cube made by you guessed it gan i love gan and this one turns like this and it actually solves the exact same as a 3x3 and uh, I've actually solved it to the two layers just like uh, a 3x3 multiple times so yeah I originally had it pretty loose when I originally uh, got it but then it fell apart one time and I'm like I don't want that to happen so I'm gonna go without that overall this is a solid ass product let's see if we can go up close it's sparkly look at that and it's, and it's made out of purple plastic it originally had a GAN sticker on it whereas the other two have the GAN engraved on it I got rid of the GAN sticker because I don't really care 
care. I hate stickers in general. That's why all the cubes I get nowadays do not have stickers. At least I try to make sure they don't have stickers. I failed a few times in the past, but so be it. I mean, this thing's pretty addictive. I'm gonna be doing this the whole time if I don't stop, so seriously. And it's magnetic, I should have mentioned that. It's magnetic. The first real magnetic cube I have had. And uh, I like magnets. I used to not like them, but I like magnets. The magnets have seemed to last on this cube, so I'm sticking with it. Maybe I'll get a magnetic 2x2 and a magnetic 3x3 in the future, who knows? I forgot to show you this, but I got a Gan egg bag, as uh, good old dink pods would say, and you stick your uh, Gan skew in it. I don't know how to end this video, and I uh, randomly turn on the light because I felt like it, so that's great for continuity. Bye! <laughs>